So I decided to do two editions of this today to start us off. So for our uh, second edition of our beginner's fly tying series, super basic flies for people just getting into it, because that's about all I can tie anyway. I can tie you a couple a little more complicated and some streamers, but nothing too crazy. So I just thought I would uh, give some time to showing you guys some stuff when you're first starting that you can use. So uh, for our second edition, we're going to do a micro egg or a very tiny glow bug. Uh, you can make them in multiple different colors, lots of different bright colors. But the San Juan worm and the micro egg are going to be good for uh, high, uh, high water or uh, low clarity situations where uh, you need something visible for the fish. Uh, again, like I said, I tie these mostly on cheap hooks, Dairikis, but actually all I have sitting around today are nicer Tiemco hooks. But Today we're going to tie this uh, glow bug on a size 18, 24, 99 SPVL. But again, you can tie it on any um, any um, uh, scud hook or egg hook, and uh, I use usually as cheap as I can find. So once we get the hook here in the uh, vise, uh, I usually use a white thread often, but what I have in uh, around white right now is just going to be a almost silver thread blue done UTC. You can use any color you want. White mostly is what I like to use, but this is what we're going to use today and it'll work. So we're going to wrap around the hook a few times. Super sharp hooks. I've already almost cut the thread. Cover the hook up with the thread. Go to about the middle of the fly right there. I'm gonna clip my excess there. For the material, uh, today we're gonna tie this fly in what uh, is called, uh, I think it's called McCheese, but we always use McFly foam for these, which uh, comes in multiple different colors. Here you're gonna see this, the McCheese. We also have a uh, pink here, a light pink. Um, so what we're gonna do basically here is cut this comes in strips, you can see, in multiple strips. We're going to cut two strips, is what I like, and place them side by side next to each other to make a nice, super bodied, fluffy egg. Uh, once we get the two strips cut, we're basically holding them right next to each other. As you can see here, now I've got two strips, they're held right next to each other. I'm going to now place them on top of the fly like this. I'm going to throw and tighten down. One, two, three. And I like to put a thread wrap in back and a couple in front here to hold it in place the best I can. Maybe another one in back. A couple more in front. And then again a couple half hitches since I bastardize the whip finish all the time. And a half hitch. Another one. You could tie a million of these an hour too. Sometimes even I spin the thread to cut through the foam a little bit better. Uh, you can do that just basically by hanging the thread like this and spinning it. it. Cuts through the foam a little better, but sometimes when I don't feel like wasting the time doing it, I just put it in. So now once we cut the thread off, basically my tactic here is to pull it as tight as possible up top. Try and squish it together. And then I cut. Then I sort of pull down here, try and get a, as round of an egg as possible. Maybe trim a little. But what you're left with here is a nice fluffy egg fly. It's probably a little big for that hook, but it'll do, especially when uh, you're fishing these flies, you're not, it's not really an exact science, but every little bit helps, and uh, again, part of a tandem rig with that, uh, with that uh, San Juan worm, this is deadly for the stocked fish, I've even caught a few wild ones, and uh, I've caught fish on these everywhere, it's an uh, extremely underrated fly, last uh, summer, actually at the end of the summer, my girlfriend Katie caught uh, two nice sized wild brown trout on this same colored egg fly. 
And you wouldn't think it would work since they're so spooky and wild and tuned into everything else that's around them as far as insects go, but sometimes it might be a differentiator and I'm sure they've seen eggs before. So give it a shot. It might be your next lunker fly. Uh, I hope you guys have uh, fun uh, learning how to tie and uh, enjoy these tips. Go out there and catch a few fish with them.